Hey y'all, so I'm back. I'm in the car real quick. And um I just like been on Instagram and stuff and I've been seeing this. I was gonna do a video on it yesterday, but I was just so tired and like I was I had just got my medicine and it's been a while since I took it, so I had like some really bad headaches and side effects and shit. But at any rate, I'm back now. I wanted to address something real quick. I wanna give props to Lil' Kim. Let me tell you something. Anybody who say that Lil' Kim ain't the queen of hip-hop, not the queen, but a queen, let's say that, because there's many queens. But anybody that say that shit, you lying through your motherfucking teeth. That, <laughs> that chick, I had seen this video yesterday, and um, it was her and this interviewer, and I want to give props to Kim, because she's, first of all, like I said on the last video, or not video, but the last, um, well, I did a post it on YouTube, so technically video, but also podcast. Um, I want to give, uh, like I gave her props for handling the main old situation. I'm going to give her props again for handling this situation. Because this little interview chick, this little white chick trying to be messy as the fuck, talking about something. What do you think about Cardi B and Nicki Minaj? And Lil' Kim said, you know, Cardi's my girl. I love her. I don't know the other girl, but. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, when I tell y'all, that was the funniest shit. I busted out laughing in class. I ain't even give a fuck. Um, but yeah, I want to give her props for that. You know, I've noticed. You know, um, yeah, when people get into situations and stuff, like in the industry, yeah, people ask them about stuff, but I noticed nobody really ever asked Nikki about Kim or Remy. It's always Kim or Remy or Cardi B being asked about Nikki. You know what I'm saying? So, and her saying simply, I don't know her. Well, I mean, really, to be honest, she don't know her. You know what I'm saying? It was shady, but it was funny as fuck. And it was, it was, it was minor shade. You know what I'm saying? It was nothing to get up in arms about. You know what I'm saying? I think she handled the situation very well. She handled it like a G, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what the interview was trying to do. She was trying to be messy. We all know Lil' Kim and Nicki Minaj will never, ever get along. That's fine and cool. But why is people still talking about it? They ain't, they ain't had no serious problems in like eight years. So why even bring that up? You know what I'm saying? Um... But that's what these little interviewers, they do. They be messy and shit. But props to Kim for handling that situation like a G. You know what I'm saying? She definitely did. And props to her for showing love to Cardi. You know what I'm saying? Um, people often misjudge where the divide in female rap really is. You know what I'm saying? So it's easy to call it out for little Kim or, you know, Remy Ma for her sheet the record. You know what I'm saying? But the real people in hip hop, they know who the fuck is the main cause of the divide in female hip hop. In light of recent years, we know who the fuck it is. You know, her name rhymes with Tiki Sadaj, but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> but at any rate, shout out to Lil' Kim and, um, you know, shout out to Cardi B and Remy Ma too. Because when they situations came, um, they handled it. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to talk about that right now. You know what I'm saying? Cardi, she took the high road, even though she knew it was really was up with that motorsport record. She still you know, was respectful when she performed the song I seen on one of the concerts. She said, and the bad gal, Nicki Minaj. So she always gave her credit, even though she knew what she really meant on that first version of Motorsport. So, you know, shout out to all three of them for handling their situations the way they do um, and not being bitter about it and just moving on. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them for that. And uh, shout out to all the other women in hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I see, you know, a lot of them on the come up and I'm happy about that because y'all know me. I listen to females more than I listen to males. Um, but at any rate, yeah, shout out to Kim. That was an OG move. That shit was funny as the fuck. And, um, I can't wait to see her and Remy Ma's Wake Me Up remix where Kim is rapping. And I can't wait to see what else Kim got in store for us. The spicy video just came out a couple weeks ago or maybe a couple days ago. That shit is fire. Check that out. And yeah, I'll catch y'all on the next podcast. Bye.